Hi guys, it's Marlena. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are building an Easter Bunny house. This is super cool and I love the way it turned out and I hope you guys will too. So the tour will be at the end of this video. So make sure to watch till then to see how it all came out. So let's get right into building. So this is the third floor, but this is just gonna be for the ears. So we don't have to worry about that now. This is the second floor where we'll have rooms and here's the first floor with more rooms. So we're gonna begin and place the walls down here. So I'm gonna color them white. Then I'm gonna color the interior walls mid gray. So once you have those walls painted, Painted, you can just copy them and place them around the layout just like this So this is going to be the kitchen and the dining area and then this is going to be the living room and also the entrance area So yeah, we're gonna place a wall here to kind of separate the two and we're gonna be placing stairs right there Which we'll get to in a minute. So go upstairs and place the walls up here as well So we're gonna enter from the stairs right over here and then this is gonna be like a bathroom and then this will be the bedroom So yeah, that's pretty much what we have you can place the interior walls just make sure you color the white part mid gray and that's pretty much it so i'm actually really excited for this build i think it's gonna look super cool so yeah now you can go upstairs and place the walls for the ears so we're gonna have white ears on the back like this okay and then the walls in the front right here are actually gonna be colored seashell and then we're gonna do the same thing right over here. Cool, right? Kind of cool. So that's great, okay? So now we're gonna grab a roof. We are gonna grab this pyramid roof, okay? So we're gonna place it on the ears, you know, give it the point to the ears, right? So just kind of make sure that it's not like overlapping and then you can recolor it to seashell. I think that's cool. So you can copy that roof and then place it on the other ear as well. And then once again, just resize it. Yeah, I think that's cool, okay? So now you can go down to the second floor and we're gonna grab a floor flat roof and this will just cover the rest you know of the bunny's head so that it's not gonna be open you know you don't have like sun coming through your roof that wouldn't be good so yeah now you can just color it there you go so now that that's all finished we are going to go to structural and this is the fun part guys we're gonna make the bunny's face so i'm actually so excited for this we're gonna grab the horizontal plank and we're gonna place it down right here so i guess we could do like this okay place it down like that and then color it to black so we have its eyeball the first eye okay and then we can go over to this side and do the same exact thing actually is that too like far apart <laughs> wait wait maybe the eyes are too far apart i actually don't know they might be too far apart let me see what if we like if we made them like a bit bigger maybe it would look better ah uh, maybe that looks better we can grab the small square beam and we can make like a triangle right here for his nose <laughs> that's cute and then color it to pink and then we'll have to like fill this in i don't know how and then we're going to make some whiskers if you want or like blush whatever you'd like this to be i don't know what color we'd color the whiskers though um that's a good question i don't know what we're gonna color the whiskers if we don't keep this blush i don't know maybe like a gray or something i i don't really know isn't that so cool i like that so i guess we can just fill this in now just try to place oh my gosh this might be hard just try to place this as best you can so just keep placing this these like beams in here i feel like it could be better yeah you might have to like overlap it a bit but cover as much as you can even if you overlap it like this i feel like that's still gonna look fine it's like overlapping you're not gonna be able to tell that should be it for the nose i kind of like that so um i don't know what i'm doing here with the whiskers we make it like a gray color we can make them whiskers or you could leave it as like kind of like a blush kind of thing <laughs> i think they look better as whiskers though i think that looks kind of cool i don't think they're even though which kind of annoys me but i don't think whiskers are supposed to be even so i think it makes it more realistic wait if we keep the eyes like this yeah so that would make sense then we could just give it like a little like some color to his eye you could do like green you could do brown you could do blue so yeah you could do that let's see what this looks like um i don't know if that looks good or terrifying <laughs> I feel like he looks a little crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. I guess we'll leave it for now. Okay, so I think we're pretty much all finished with the exterior then. Let's start planting flowers and stuff. I'm going to make a walkway first just so we have that go into the bunny. And now I'm going to place the door. So I think I'm going to use this French door right here. Something simple. And I don't know. We could just color it, whatever. I'm just going to use pink and white just to kind of match, you know, with the rabbit. Rabbits eat carrots, right? So we're definitely going to place a bunch of carrots like all around this build. I think that just makes perfect sense. So we're gonna have like a bunch of carrots as we're walking up to the door. So a bunch of carrots everywhere. 
<laughs> this looks kind of funny. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna place some grass around now and we'll place some flowers and stuff. Oh, an orange tree. Wait, that matches. I mean, they're not carrots, but they're still orange. I don't want it to block the rabbit, so I'll place it back here. So I want you to be able to see the rabbit, see its beauty. I want you to be able to see its terrifying eyes that are just staring into your soul. Oh my gosh. I think I'll just do two orange trees and that's it. What do you guys think we should name this rabbit? We should give him a name. Comment what name you think we should give this guy. <laughs> For now, I'm gonna be placing just some flowers around. I'll color them like orange, maybe some pink. I feel like we should get some Easter colors in here. After all, that would just make sense. That looks kind of cool. I think I'm also gonna outline this with a short plain fence just so it looks better. I don't think we have to do too much with the like plants and stuff. You know, the main focus is gonna be like the bunny itself. So I don't think we really have to go too crazy placing of plants. I have to tell myself that because <laughs> I like to place a lot of plants. So mushrooms are great for spring, I guess. This is an excuse for me to be able to place mushrooms. I love mushrooms for Mario. Oh my gosh, the Mario Bros movie is in five days. I have opening night tickets. I'm so excited. I've waited my entire life for this movie. I cannot wait to go. Toad's my favorite character. I love Toad. I love Toad so much. Toad mains rise. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm doing a little too much with these flowers. Don't worry. You don't have to place all these flowers if you don't want to. But I think they look kind of nice, so I think it might be worth it. Like I said before, I want the main focus to be on the bunny itself, so that's good. I guess I will just add a quick little, like, walkway using these stepping stones i'll probably place like two and then three and then two i think i'll recolor the rows of three as white so that's it i really like the way it's turning out so let's go work on the interior right now so this is going to be fun so we're going to place the floor first um i don't know what we should color the floor i feel like we're gonna go with some light, maybe like pastel colors. So maybe we color it oyster with these planks. That's a really nice color. And there's a way to fix these corner pieces, but I'm too lazy to do that, sorry. So we're gonna go upstairs and place the rest of the floor up here. And make sure to leave this open because that's where the stairs are gonna be. And you don't want to knock your head while you're going upstairs. So you gotta leave that open. We'll place the stairs right now. Which are gonna be right here in this pink marking. So we can grab these added stairs and they're pretty cool and place them right in this marking and then you can get rid of that marking and then you can just recolor it to match the floor pretty cool and then you're gonna be able to walk under here to get to the kitchen and the dining area so okay so this is going to be like the living area right here so I'm gonna start off by placing a fireplace because I think that look really cool so I want to use this one the simple fireplace I love this fireplace and for my spring homes I usually use yellow lighting so we're gonna do that today so that's pretty much much it so now we're gonna grab a carpet we'll use a circular carpet and place it right here and we can just recolor that i think we'll use a lot of white in this build probably some like orange probably some like pink some like bunny colors i guess i think we're gonna do like a pink and yellow for this carpet right here so now we can go to comfort and we're gonna grab this stylish sofa and we're gonna make it look nice for spring so you can place it right here i think we're gonna recolor it pink and then yellow again like this one yeah and then we're gonna go back to comfort because i want to place this bench that we got this one right here i think that's so cool I want to place it behind that and you still have room to walk back here i kind of want to leave it blue because that's a really nice spring color definitely gonna place plants it's a spring themed house of course we're gonna do that and we'll place another one next to it and we're gonna grab a tv so we're going to do it nice stylish tv right here i think i'll also go to garden like some planter bowls and stuff so i think i'm gonna place like a sunflower in here with some carrots around it yeah i want to do that very nice i like this and then i think i'll do another one over here another basic pot with the carrot in here watch right after i upload this blocks where releases like an easter update yeah so i think i'm gonna go to storage i'm gonna grab a shelf now and then i'll probably place it like right under the tv i'll color it white and then i think i'll just place some books so we're using seashell yellow pink orange some uh, carrots can be growing from the shelf totally normal we're gonna place some string lights over the tv as well and we're gonna color them yellow okay i like this so far i think we're definitely gonna need some wall trim though let's actually do that now sorry i should have done that earlier <laughs> just realized we're gonna use this crown molding and just place it all around we can place the rest later once we get to those rooms but just wanted to do that and then i think we should do one on the bottom as well i really like this wood paneling and you know what i thought of we could actually 
color the top and the bottom part of it seashell just so it kind of matches with like the door and everything better so yeah we'll place the rest once we get to those rooms so now it just looks a little bit nicer i think over here we're gonna place a bunch of paintings to make like a wallpaper kind of thing oh we should actually place a pillar over here totally forgot about that so let's do that real quick and then just color it white i'm actually gonna grab i think a different painting this painting instead sorry extend it a little bit Okay, so now that that's all finished, I'll change the painting later, I promise, I won't forget. I'm thinking of placing like a window, like this standard window right here would look nice. I think it would look fine. I mean, yeah, that doesn't look bad, right? I think that's fine. So I think I'm also going to place like a lamp over here. I like using this weird lamp. <laughs> I don't know. It looks kind of cool, I think. I think this time I'm going to color cashmere and that's it for this room, I think. I guess we could place another window over here. Yeah, symmetrical. Okay, and then we can grab, I guess, another like planter. And then maybe we'll place like a tree next to it. Oh, it's poking through, just kidding. Okay, that's better, that's better. Okay, so let's go work on the kitchen over here. So make sure to place your wall trim everywhere. And right here, we're gonna begin placing the counters. We're gonna use, I think, the shaker counters. I think we'll place one over here on this like corner. So I think we're gonna color it like an orange, yellow, and then I think maybe seashell. So we stick with the theme yeah and appliances we're gonna grab a stove i guess we can use that orange that we've been using you ever see an orange stove before probably not i don't think i have either so now we're gonna grab a fridge and place it like over here and then we can recolor it white pink and I guess we'll do orange on the side. I think on this counter, I'm going to place a sink. I think that would look pretty cool. So I'm going to grab this window again and just place it above this sink. And let's grab some cabinets. So we'll use a tall shaker cabinets. Place one there. We'll recolor it pink and orange so it matches with the counters. I think I'm going to use this hood for the stove. Yeah, I guess we'll color it like linen. I would also recommend placing a cabinet with a shelf, which I think I'm going to place right over here because you can place like the microwave in there which i'm gonna do right now so okay i'm gonna go to decorations and i'm gonna grab that shelf this this shelf <laughs> and i'm just gonna place it up here and then recolor i'm also gonna steal the books from before let's grab this cup of utensils okay this is kind of colorful <laughs> oh my gosh and i'm gonna place carrots right over here <laughs> and then i'm also gonna grab the string lights that we've been using and just place that right there so i think that's fine like we don't need much else oh wait we do need appliances though okay i'll place a toaster up here and i think over here i'll place like a coffee maker if you want to place other appliances that i'm not placing feel free to <laughs> and i think after this we should be pretty good i forgot over here we're supposed to place a dining table my bad <laughs> i knew i was gonna place something over here and we're just gonna recolor it real quick I think I'll use linen and wood. I'm also gonna steal this carpet. I'm gonna resize it though. I think I'm gonna recolor it to white and pink. And now we can grab some chairs. I wanna use these stylish chairs and then I'll just recolor them again. Pink. And we should grab a candle because that's a really nice light. Yeah, look at how bright that is. Like, that's crazy. I think I'll color that linen. I'm probably gonna copy this painting over here and then just do the same thing that I was doing in the living room and make like a wallpaper. So that should be good for this kitchen. I'll probably just place like a carpet right here and then one in front of the fridge. And then we should be good to work on the final two rooms upstairs. It's going to be a bathroom and then a bedroom. Sorry, I'm just placing more plants over here. I just feel like we're lacking plants. Then maybe like two windows because I don't like how this feels kind of empty. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but I like having like the open feel in a spring house with a lot of windows, you know? So I'm going to copy this door that we use for the front door and we'll just place it right here. So this is going to be the bathroom and then this will be the bedroom. We also need to grab the wall trim. So make sure to do that. Okay, I'm also going to place like a fence over here so nobody falls over. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. And I'm going to steal some of the plants from downstairs just so we can cover this up. You could probably place like a desk over here actually wait do you guys want to do that maybe we should do that so we have like an office area let's grab this desk right here and then we'll have to move these over a bit and then let's grab like a stool, color it pink, and we'll color the desk like linen again. And I'm gonna steal the windows from downstairs and place it there. I'm also gonna be stealing this uh, candle as well. And I'm probably gonna steal the books too. If you reuse items that are already colored, you're gonna save up more money, so. Yeah, this is kind of cool, I think. 
Okay, now let's go work on the room. So we're gonna go work on the bathroom first. So let's place the toilet right over here in this corner. And then we gotta grab the toilet paper and the trash can. It's kind of funny. Everybody in my comments, you guys hate when I place windows <laughs> in my bathrooms. That kind of makes me want to play <laughs> place them even more. It's kind of funny. I'll place curtains, okay? So you guys can shut the curtains. Shut them when you're in the bathroom so nobody can peek in. Because everyone's afraid of people peeking in. Like, what? <laughs> shut the curtains you know it's fine um i'm gonna place like a fence over here to kind of like block that off i guess i want to place more windows over here as well <laughs> i don't think anyone's gonna be like living behind the house maybe over here your next door neighbors but just shut the curtains and then you're good all right we're gonna place a modern sink right here i love this sink and then just recolor and then i'll place a towel and soap and that should be good for this bathroom. So let's go work on the bedroom, which is the final room. So I think we'll use this modern single bed and I kind of want to place it like that. And then we can place this carpet right here as well. And then recolor. I'll probably color it white with pink. So I think I'm going to place a painting over the bed. Then I'll probably place like the lamp that we were using from the living room. And then I'll place like a table, like this table right here. And I'm going to steal that shelf from the living room. And I do want to place more carrots on the shelf. I mean, if a rabbit's gonna be living in this house, they're gonna have carrots, like, everywhere. Because what if they get hungry? I'm probably gonna place a clock over here as well. It's kind of hard to see, but it's fine. <laughs> and then over here, we'll place the dresser. So we'll use this dresser. And then we're almost done. So I'm excited to tour it and check it out. More carrots, of course. We received a lot of new makeup products. Pretty cool to put on the dresser. I like using this mirror, and then I like placing vanity lights over it. These lights are so nice. They have to be like one of my favorites in Bloxburg. I think I'll color it like yellow again. That's pretty much it for this room. I'm just gonna grab, you know, our plants again, like our sunflower with the carrots. <laughs> plants from downstairs, like this one, and then like maybe the tree. I'll just place like a few more paintings over here just because I feel like this is a little empty. And then we're gonna tour. And I'm so excited to see how it looks. Yeah, it's a fun little spring build. So I'm going to place some more of these like windows over here. And I think with that, we're pretty much all finished. Let's go check it out. I'm going to fix the paintings and then we're going to tour it. So yay, I'm so excited. I hope you guys like this house. So the total value of our house is about $48,000, close to $50,000, but definitely less than that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so this is it. I think it's kind of cute. Like, I think it fits like the blocky kind of theme, you know, of, of like Roblox, Bloxburg. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's cool. I like the whiskers. I like the nose too. It's kind of cute. The eyes, I don't know how I feel about the eyes still. <laughs> I think they can be either cute or like terrifying. So I guess it's up to your interpretation. However you perceive those eyes, it's up to you. <laughs> and we have a bunch of flowers. We have some carrots around. I just felt like that was fitting. We have orange trees, you know, I thought that matched as well. <laughs> so this is it. I like the ears too. I think those are cute. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this house. Brings me back to like two summers ago when I was building my frog house in Bloxburg that was fun so this is the living room and i think it's pretty nice we've got a nice cozy fireplace uh wallpaper i hope you can see that i know it's kind of bright over here um yeah we got a comfy couch a nice little bench more carrots so this is the kitchen over here yeah very nice some pink some orange you know we've got our dining table as well we have the wallpaper you can see it better in here for sure yeah pretty cool pretty cool pretty simple we have the carrots again <laughs> yeah carrots all around this house that's just obvious and then we have a table so this is like a desk area if you want to do your work over here more carrots and then here's the bathroom very simple very easy to make so the bathtub toilet i place curtains so maybe you guys like that better you know you can shut them if you feel like anyone's watching you i don't know and we have some more paintings some flowers i think those look nice then we have our dresser of course oh i forgot a painting oh, look away all right now we have a painting sorry about that <laughs> more carrots yeah so this is a pretty cheap house nice for spring and easter yeah if you've always wished to live in a bunny house i i don't know <laughs> this is really fun to make and i hope you guys have enjoyed it and hope you like the outcome thank you all so much for watching i have another spring build that i want to make so check back here for that it's also related to easter so i will see you in my next video bye guys